Hello there guys, today we're going to be looking at how to do um, an easy ap application of transfers, decals, whatever you want to call them. Um, a quick easy way, takes about five minutes and you won't get any wrinkles, um, you won't get sort of, you won't have to cut your transfers to make them fit properly, anything like that. So I'll go ahead first of all by showing you obviously the model we're going to be applying it to today. A lot of people have problems with this. Um, so basically just your standard Space Marine. This is a Mark, uh, Mark III armor from Forge World. Um, as you can see, quite smaller shoulder pads due to uh, round the edging. You've got all of the uh, extra detail. Now a lot of people find it hard at the top where it curves round quite a lot to get the, uh, the transfer to actually apply quite well on there. Now this will stop that. This makes that completely easy. So. What I'll do first of all is show you the products we're going to use. So obviously there's our model. We've got uh, the transfer sheet for the Astral Claws. This is the Forge World Astral Claws transfer sheet. Um, also a couple of products that we use. Now on these I'm only going to use one of these but um, I'll explain the other one for you. So first of all Micro Set. This is from Micro Scale Industries. You can buy this from most of your your, your model supply companies, um, you can get it on the internet. I think I paid about two pound fifty for a bottle, and as you can see, there's still sort of quarter of the bottle left after a good year and a half's worth of use. Um, second one is Micro Soul. Again, same manufacturer. You can see I don't use this as much. Um, this one, generally, I mean, what these products do. First of all, you apply the Micro Set. That will that will allow you to put your decal onto the shoulder pad um, and it will start to soften that decal. Um, the micro sole, you generally use it if there's a, a, a less smooth surface to put it onto, so a surface that's um, a lot harder to sort of get that transfer to mould to. So that one's generally for something like, say you were applying a transfer to a a cloth that's that's wrinkled up or something like that. Um, that'll that'll soften the deco even further, make it even easier to apply. Um, but obviously, when you use that, you have to be quite careful with your transfers to make sure that they uh, they don't sort of tear or anything like that. Um, so we put that to one side for now. Um, so, like I say, micro set is the is the easiest one to start with. Um, you can see on the label there it says for um, setting decals it softens the decals and also you can use it to actually remove old transfers so say you've got some marines that you want to take their shoulder pads off um, and put new ones on because you didn't do them very well the first time you can use this stuff and it'll actually uh, it'll actually release the the sort of the, the, the adhesiveness of that transfer um, so I'll see you in one second and we'll start the uh, the process of getting this uh, applied. Right, we're back again guys, just looking now at the transfers that I cut whilst I was away. Um, so I've got two of these little ones here, the actual uh, Tyrant's, uh, Tyrant's Legion sort of uh, symbols that were brought in after Huron uh, started turning the army into his own. Um, we've there for the shoulder pads um, and we've also got uh, one of the little uh, tiger's heads um, to go onto the uh, the shield of this guy. So I've done uh, on on this retaliate squad. They've all got shields. Um, some of them have got the tyrant's legion um, symbol, and some of them have got the astral claws symbol, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, we do both of those whilst we whilst we're doing this video. Uh, do it all in one shot. Now, what I would say uh, a couple of times easier on the shoulder pads is take the little. Uh, the shoulder pad ones and if you just put a, car a tiny little sort of uh, snippet into the top two sort of corners at sort of uh, two o'clock and um, ten o'clock and that will just make them um, curl around the top of that shoulder pad a lot easier. Um, obviously one good thing to have here is a pair of tweezers so you just grab your uh, little deco in your, in your tweezers there let's just get that to zoom in there we go. Um, Dip that in your water, obviously. Uh, just put it to one side, leave it for a few minutes just to soak that in so it comes off, releases nice and easy from the sheet. Do the same on all of those. So just pop those down there and one for the big one. Pop that down there, that's brilliant. Now, whilst those are soaking up, you can open up your uh, micro set 
Now, this stuff does have a little bit of a whiff to it. Obviously, it's a, it is a solvent-based product. Um, it's fine, sort of. You've only got the lid off for a little while. Just if you're using it for long periods of time, doing a lot of these guys, I'd probably suggest just opening a window um, just to let it vent out a little bit. So I'll start off... Uh, just putting some of this stuff wherever we want to cover it. So obviously you can see I'm applying it quite, quite heavily onto um, onto areas that I want these transfers to a, to to a deer. So one on the shoulder, one on the shield. Um, let's just mix that all in there. Now you don't. What I would say is obviously make sure the paint that you're putting this onto is completely dry before you apply it. Um, if you've if you've got any moisture still on there in the paint then it is going to cause issues you need to wait till it's completely dry um, now you see that's that's on there it gives a nice little sort of glaze to that um, whilst it's still wet you want to just grab your transfer off your uh, transfer sheet mm -mm -mm. so just do it with an old paintbrush that's what I use um, then grab that round then you'll see just literally just roll it onto wherever you want that so you see that one, I'm just going to leave right there in the middle of that shield. Pop that around the right way so you can see properly. Okay, now you'll see obviously, I've just put it on, so you'll see around the edges, you can see the edge of the transfer. With this stuff, that will completely go. Um, let me just grab one of the little, uh, little transfers. Mm -mm -mm. One of the shoulder pad ones there. So let me just get that to, to clear for you, there we go. So you see, I'm just rolling that on. Pull the paintbrush out from underneath. Now, you leave that on there, completely submerged in that micro, so, micro set. Sorry. Um, you'll see I'm sort of smothering the transfers over the top as well with some of the excess micro set. Just move those into position. Mm -mm. So I'm happy with that being right in the middle there. Just straighten it up a little bit. There we go. So you'll see there, I'll do the other shoulder pads separately. So you'll see there, we've got both of those uh, decals put on. They look quite smooth as it is. Um, they are, however, going to look like they are part of the paintwork. Okay. So I'll leave that for about, leave it for about five minutes. Um, till the uh, till the micro set starts to evaporate, so it doesn't dry. You see, it evaporates. That's why it's always best to keep the lid on this stuff. Um, and as it starts to evaporate, I'll come back. I'll show you what we do on the next step. All right. See you in a moment. Back again. Um, right. So last part of this little transfer. Now, grab yourself a uh, bit of a uh, bit of tissue there. Um, you can see now if I zoom in on this for you, just show you a little bit of this, you'll see that most of the liquid's evaporated and you can still see a slight rim around the edge where that the, the, the edge of the transfer is. Now what you want to start doing is basically just get your, your normal brush um, that you use. Um, I use an old one because I don't want to really damage my, uh, my good ones. Um, now just literally start just stroking over the transfer, picking up some of the excess liquid and just rubbing it on your tissue, okay? And you just keep doing that till it's nearly dry on the area that you want that transfer. Um, you'll see the more I'm rubbing it, I'm just rubbing it lightly all over it, you'll see that the less and less and less you can start seeing the edge of that transfer. And what it's basically doing is the, the micro set has thinned the transfer so the top layer of the transfer is is basically gone soft into a liquid um, and you can actually remove it so you'll see that's nearly dry on that shield now um, I'll do the same on the shoulder pad there's a lot more on the shoulder pad to remove that's just gone into the gaps and things like that um, you'll see flatten it out as well as you're going because um, it tends to when when the when the micro set is actually doing its work it does tend to um, give kind of like a wrinkled effect to the transfer um, it's purely because the transfer is morphing um, and, and thinning out um, it's the same as if you get a piece of paper wet it will wrinkle up um, so you're just stroking it all the way around into the grooves where you want it to go into so like around the bottom of that bottom of that bit there 
Um, let me again just clear that up for you. So you'll see now that those transfers are completely smooth to the shoulder and to the to the shield there. Now I did whilst I was away apply one to the other side. Um, you can't see that well because the, the sword's in the way, the chain sword's in the way. Um, but I'm just going to do the same process to that. Just remove all the excess micro set straight onto the tissue because we don't want any of that. I will just have to straighten that transfer up as well. Um, let's just get that straightened up in there. It's best if you don't have to move them once once you've um, done the solvent, just because you don't want to tear them. Where they thinned out, it can be quite easy to tear them. Now, just getting that all rubbed down there. bit there just to stroke that little last uh, crease out okay now you'll see now that these are drying out you'll see how smooth they're actually going to the surfaces um, and what it ha what is happening is basically as that the, you're getting less and less of the micro set on the actual um, on the on the miniature, um, it's becoming adhesive, and it actually sets the uh, the transfer to the uh, to the product to the miniature. So you'll see now on that shield. If I get that to zoom in for you, you'll see. Well, obviously you can see it because the shininess of it, but you'll see that that is completely smooth to the actual shield so there's no kind of ridge around the edge of that transfer now what I do personally so that you can get rid of that shininess so that you don't see the clear part of the transfer around the outside is just dab it down with a bit of Lamium Medium um, which you just obviously pick up from Games Workshop um, that will take, take all of the shine out of those transfers and it will look like it's part of the paintwork so You'll see there like that, that's done on that side, and on this side, you'll see, if we can move the, sh the sword out of the way, there we go, there we go, you see on that side, completely smooth as well, alright, so what you need to do whilst they're drying is obviously just keep an eye on them just keep rubbing them down a little bit if any creases come up, just smooth it out gently with your paintbrush. Um, and you'll find that you will have a perfect transfer at the end. Um, no lumps, no bumps, completely smooth. And once, like I say, once you put a bit of Lamia Medium on there, you are absolutely spot on. Looks like you've painted it on yourself. Um, if you can paint that well, that is. <laughs> um, right, so that's it for the decals, um, the transfers. Um, now, Obviously, there'll be plenty more tutorials coming up. Um, things like, um, obviously, I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I paint my astral claws. This one here is only about halfway through. Um, I'll grab a finished one and show you what we're going to be doing with those. Um, let's grab the sergeant of that squad. So you'll see here, we've got this guy here. Got a nice little bit of battle damage on his armour. Um, I've put sort of gold trim on him to make him look like uh, he's the boss. Now we've got the Forge World Astral Claws shoulder pads on some of these as well. Um, just to add that little extra bit of detail. Uh, and you can see on this one, we've got the transfer on the shield there. Now you can't see where I've used the Lamia Medium over the top. You cannot see an edge around that transfer. You can't see any shine to it. It looks like I've painted that on. Um, absolutely spot on. So... Like I say, there's more to come with these guys. Um, I've also got a lot of tutorials coming up on some of the Chaos stuff I'm working on at the moment. Um, normal Games Workshop stuff and Forge World stuff. Um, keep your eyes open. Please subscribe to the channel and hopefully you'll like what's coming up in the future. Thanks a lot guys. Take care.